How many of you know that Allensworth is considered the first incorporated all black community in the United States? Well, this is Reggie Walks from Golden Tropolis. Reggie Bowie, I'm about to share with you in this presentation a secret that many of you have not heard before. A secret that many of you have not shared before. I often wonder why this story does not have mass appeal as it should. A story about an influential person and his name is Lieutenant Colonel Alan Ellsworth. I hope that this presentation inspires someone to learn and to research this story for themselves. This will be my last video on Allensworth. You may view other videos on Allensworth and other presentations on my channel. So before I get started, I would like to thank Steve Tony, the Chief Interpreter for the California State Parks. I feel it's wonderful that the state of California honors Lieutenant Colonel Allen Allensworth. Steve Tony, very knowledgeable on Lieutenant Colonel Allen Allensworth and the township of Allensworth. So stop and visit the state park and look up Steve Tony. So now, let's capture a magical time of Allensworth Township, a closer look, a brief synopsis of Lieutenant Colonel Allen Allensworth. Lieutenant Colonel Allen Allensworth was born on the 7th day of April in 1842 and left us on the 14th day of September in 1914. Allen Allensworth was born into slavery in Kentucky. Young Allen Allensworth began learning how to read and write at an early age, and eventually he escaped during the American Civil War by becoming a Union soldier. Later, Allen Allensworth became a Baptist minister and educator, then appointed as the chaplain in the United States Army. Allen was the first African American to reach the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. In 1908, Allensworth founded a township called Allensworth in California. This was the only town in the state of California to be founded, financed, and governed by African Americans. So let's go back to the American Civil War. This is where Allen Allensworth escaped slavery by joining the 44th Illinois Volunteers. Shortly after that, he later served two years in the Navy. Later becoming an ordained minister, he worked as a teacher, studied theology, and led several churches. In 1880 and 1884, he served as the only black delegate in the Kentucky Republican National Convention. In 1886, Allen Allensworth also became a military chaplain to the unit of Buffalo Soldiers. At this time, for 20 years, Allen served in the U.S. Army. Let's skip ahead about the township of Allensworth, an all-black California community where African Americans could live free of racial discrimination. Allensworth, a township, soon developed to become a town with its own social and educational organizations. Allensworth Township flourished with the Campfire Girls, the Owl Club, the Girls Glee Club, and the Children's Saving Association, the Sewing Circle, the Whist Club, the Debating Society, and yes, a theater club. Eventually, problems had surmounted as those problems were because of the dry and dusty soil that made farming quite difficult for Allensworth. The drinking water at that time had also became contaminated with arsenic. The year 1914 further setbacks had risen from the Allensworth. For starters, the Allensworth economic base was diminished when the Santa Fe Railroad moved its rail stop from Allensworth to a town called Alpaw. In 1914, Colonel Allensworth was crossing a street one day. Then suddenly, Alan Allensworth was struck and killed by a speedy motorcycle. Again, this is only a synopsis of Lieutenant Colonel Alan Allensworth and the township of Allensworth. There's more information here to be had than what is provided here for this presentation. Lieutenant Colonel Alan Allensworth has proven to the world that black Americans can live successfully, economically, and govern itself. When it has gone unnoticed that the Allensworth Township had its own voting district and justice of the peace. 
This concludes our brief synopsis of Lieutenant Colonel Allen Allensworth and the Allensworth Township. I do recommend that more information can be obtained by visiting the Allensworth State Park and obtain more literature regarding Lieutenant Colonel Allen Allensworth. There's more information to be had. There are more stones to turn over for further discovery. I do feel that by studying history, it gives us all a chance to observe and to understand societies and ask deeper questions. Through history, we can better inform ourselves to gain knowledge only to one day gain control, power, and reject this misinformation that has been handed down throughout time. More history to come, and please don't take my word for it. Please follow up for yourself. Thank you for viewing this presentation of Lieutenant Colonel Allensworth. This was brought to you by Reggie Bowie of Golden Tropolis. Over and